Hi, welcome to Target Furniture Hypermart. Pre-approved finance online. I'm Lee. I'm Matt. I. And I'm Jason. Let's get it on. Right here, right now. We're getting it on. Get on down. It's going on tonight. Well, welcome to the late night big breakfast once again. Our green special, green episode. Uh, many experts believe the planet probably has about 60 to 70 years left in it. Um, f many other experts um, are far less um, optimistic than that. Um, Kathy um, from Greenpeace, how do you come by those kind of stats? Well, they've been collated over hundreds and hundreds of years. You know, two and a half thousand scientists from around the world that collate all that information. They don't really. I, I just made that stat up, just trying to get some sort of shock value in the top of the show. But um, is that bad? Is it? So what are, what are some of the things that we can do in our own sort of homes, in our own lives? Micro to, level. To, yeah, micro level to improve the situation. Yeah, I think the, the key thing is just to think just to think a little bit. Examples of things you can do are exactly um, change your light bulbs. I mean, yeah, if you, you know... I've done that. Yeah, yeah I've got to fire you, quickly around. But what have you been doing, Jason? Um, you know? Well, I make sure that I switch off all the light switches in my house, take the plugs out at night, and also make sure that there's no drips in the house. Yes. OK, I've, I've, I've done That's some double one. glazing. Um, and, and two of my main rooms, which I found. How about yourself, Matt? What have you been doing? Um, I've been doing poos on the back lawn. Anything else? Not, not at the moment, no. OK. Um, Kathy, I mean, how bad is it? Um, are we at that stage yet? No, no. I mean, as, let, let's well, hang I, on I a moment. You see, there's an attitude there. I, so well, I actually don't. If I could just say to you, Lee, and you, Matt, I... But you tell something about the trips. I was going to interrupt you there, Jase, but I'll interrupt you, Matt. For a couple of years, I thought I was actually being part of the solution, I've since found I was actually part of the problem. Um, rather than running uh, three or four heaters in the home like I used to do, I stopped doing that altogether and used to just heat the house by having my oven door open on fan bake when I was cooking like a, like a roast meal. Obviously the meal takes twice as long to cook. You do the math, you're, you're fan baking the house. And I found my power bills were quite astronomical after that. So, I mean, mm. it, it's, it's doing something, but it's doing something smart, isn't it? You know, thinking about it as well. Yeah, that's not the smartest solution I've heard, I don't think. An uh, amazing amount of people do it, though. Leave the oven door open. Mm. I mean, I'm looking at these bananas here, I can't help notice that the same energy that will make these bananas go brown can heat your home or keep the power bill right down, can't they? Mm. Um, solar energy, of course, I'm, I'm mm. talking about there. Um, it's fascinating as this, it's time to go to an infomercial, so uh, let's do that now. You know, there's nothing quite like the sensual odour of wooden furnishings. In this day of electronics, fast food and fat kids, it's nice to take a stroll through nature by investing in wooden furnishings here at Cottage Hill. With authentic wooden furnishings like these, there's less need to go outside. Instead, why don't you sit back, relax and enjoy watching TV in one of these fantastic maple or mahogany TV cabinets. Cottage Hill. Whatever your wooden needs, you can be sure they'll deliver. Tell them I sent you. <clears throat> Welcome back, Jason. Um, we're here with um, Kathy coming from Greenpeace talking about the planet, the state of it. I recently saw that movie Alive, um, where they crashed in the Andes um, in Chile, rugby team, and they ended up eating themselves, um, each other, not themselves, obviously, e eating each other to survive. That's a, that's a bad scenario, surely. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was a, a, a terrible thing to happen to those guys. Um, I mean, you couldn't expect those people to recycle or do things because they're looking after number one. I think my point is they're at a, they're at a point in their life where it's all about survival. Mm. You know, we're not in panic mode, but we're certainly at a point where it's now or never, you know. I'm not quite sure if this is really part of the, the topic which we started on, but um, my great uncle Kenny was involved in a similar kind of plane crash than that. Um, they were up in, in, the, in the Andes also, um, and they had to eat each other to survive as well. It was slightly more controversial than, than the other more documented one in the fact that many people believe that the plane might not have crashed at all had the pilots not been the first to be eaten, you see. So. Where we're getting that with that, it's every man for themselves on this planet and that's where, where the trouble we're having, so, um, you know. Yeah, but I... Basically, do we just have a big party and say to the next generation, you can deal with it? You, you clean up the rubbish. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put the party on, you clean up the mess kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Mm. Absolutely not, no. 
who's going to recycle the recycle bins is what I want to know. I mean, there's so much plastic in one of those recycle bins at the moment. It's about a year's worth of recycled plastic in the recycle bin itself. Uh, are our kids' generation going to have to create recycling bins big enough to recycle our bins? That's and right. I, I would guess that that thing in a landfill would probably have a half-life of six to seven hundred thousand half years. And, and, and who's, uh, uh, who, and, and who's going who's to recycle the ladder? Uh, to get into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the rationale for these giant recycling bins. It's not going to be a 100% perfect solution. That's food for thought. In the meantime, yes. we've got a new session called What's the Buzz? Tell us what's happening in the women's mags. Let's check that out. What's the buzz? Wow. In New Idea, Terry Irwin contemplates her sexy future. Wow. Brad and Ange settle in France. Wow! Oprah's 100 kg blowout. Wow! And Sally Perore joins the weekly as a columnist. In the Woman's Weekly, Sally, Adam, and Jason shock move. Jason tells all. Wow! Oh, there you go. Just goes to show that some people have a far more interesting life than than we do here. Um, Kathy from Greenpeace, does before we wrap it up, any more last-minute tips, points that you know we can for the audience? Well, I don't want to sound sanctimonious and, you know, like I'm living like a, an angel, but I made a new res resolution to eat packed mm. lunches, and I found that it's a really... Oh, but that takes ages. Well, well, you know, we're not as time poor as we think, you know. Well, we've only got 65 years. <laughs> well... Kathy, okay, thanks for coming on the show. Fantastic. Yep, no and um, we're all in this um, together, so... Bye, um, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right here!